With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so the question here is, a charged cloud system produces an electric field in the air near the earth's surface. A particle of charge minus 2 into 10 is to the power minus 9 coulomb is acted on by a downward electrostatic force of 3 into 10 is to the power minus 6 newton when placed in this field. The gravitational and the electrostatic force respectively exerted on a proton placed in this field are and the options are 1.6 into 10 is to the power minus 26 newton comma 2.4 into 10 is to the power minus 16 newton 1.64 into 10 is to the power minus 26 newton and 1.5 into 10 is to the power 3 newton 1.56 into 10 is to the power minus 18 newton and 2.4 into 10 is to the power minus 16 newton 1.5 into 10 is to the power 3 newton and 2.4 into 10 is to the power minus 16 newton so these are our options now our given situation is we have a cloud system let us suppose this is a clouds system now the particle of charge 2 into 10 is to power minus 9 so it is a negative charge and it is acted on by a downwards electrostatic force now the negative is attracted towards the downward side so the lower cloud must be positively charged okay that is why the negative 2 into 10 is to the power minus 9 coulomb charge is attracted in the downward direction. Now, as we know, the force exerted is equal to charge multiplied by electric field. So, the downward direction, the force is applied in the downward direction. So, the downward clouds must be positively charged and the upward clouds must be negatively charged. So, the direction of electric field would be in the upward direction like this let E be the electric field now as force is equal to Q into E so in this case the force which is 3 into 10 raised to power minus 6 newtons is equal to charge charge is also given 2 into 10 raised to power minus 9 multiply by E electric field. Upon solving this, we get E is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per Coulomb. This is our electric field between the clouds. Okay. Now, our question is the gravitational and electrostatic force respectively. So, first of all, we have to calculate the gravitational force when a proton is placed in this field. So, as we know, the mass of proton is approximately 1.64 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilograms. And let us say acceleration due to gravity in this case is approximately 10 meter per second square. Now, the force of gravitation Fg would be mass into acceleration due to gravity. So, Fg would be 1.64 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 27 multiplied by 10 and this is approximately equal to fg is approximately equal to 1.64 into 10 raised to the power minus 26 newtons so this is our first force on the proton which is the gravitational force on the proton now the second force we have to calculate is the electrostatic force on the proton. Now, the electrostatic force Fe is equal to charge multiplied by electric field. Now, in this case, the charge is charge on the proton which is 1.6 into 10 is to the power minus 19 coulombs and the electric field is the field between these clouds which we have calculated from the above result this one let this be equation number one so using equation one and the value of the charge on the proton we get fe is equal to 1.6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 19 into the electric field was 
1.5 into 10 is to the power 3. 1.5 into 10 is to the power 3. So upon solving this, we get the electric electrostatic force is 2.4 into 10 is to the power minus 16 newtons. This is the electrostatic force. So our answer would be 1.64 into 10 is to the power minus 26 and 2.4 into 10 is to the power minus 16 newtons. So the first option is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.